There are a couple of ways you can explode a model in the animation's workspace. From the Transform drop-down, you can auto-explode at one level, or all levels, or you can manually explode. First, I'm going to show you how to auto-explode. I want to use the entire assembly, so I'll select the top level, which will grab all components. I'll go to Transform and select Auto-Explode, All Levels. This will assure that all levels, including subassemblies, if I had them in this design, would explode apart. After clicking Auto-Explode, you'll see that I get a dialog box here, and that the design has been broken apart by component. In the timeline, you'll see that each component now has a move action. In the dialog box, I have a few things I can play around with. One is the explosion scale, which alters how far apart each component is at their end state. I can turn on sequential explosion, which causes each component to be exploded one after another in a sequence, or leave it on one step explosion and have all components explode at the same time. I'm going to make it so the move action starts at zero on my timeline and ends around three, so the move actions will be about three seconds long. I can also toggle on or off for trail line visibility. The trail lines originate from the center of the component's original location and end at the center of the component's end location. I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit to see the whole animation a little bit better after it's exploded. This will create a view animation, which you see here. If I play back this animation, I see all of my components exploding with their trail lines. I'm going to rename this storyboard Auto Explode, and I'm going to create a new storyboard called Manually Explode. And now I'll show you how to manually explode an assembly. In Auto Explode, each part exploded in a separate direction based on an algorithm that automatically chooses where the parts move to. But if you want additional control regarding where those parts move to, you can use Manual Explode. Again, I'll go to the Transform drop-down, and I'll select Manual Explode, and I'll start selecting components. When I select a component, I get a triad that shows me all of the different axes. The blue arrows show the direction that the component is exploding. I want to make this component explode out to the left, so I'll select the left arrow, and then I'll move on to another component. Notice that when I click a second component, the blue arrow stays, showing me the direction that it's going. I'll click the other components and give each of them a direction. Just like in Auto Explode, I can set the move animations to one step or sequential, and I can change all the animations in the timeline just as before. I'll make this one a sequential explosion, and I'll change the explosion scale. Zoom out to change the camera. I can change the start and end times of the animations in the timeline. And if I click play, you can see the components explode in the directions that I've indicated.